Good morning, folks. The sun is very quiet. CME production is nil, as you can see. That's Venus blazing on the C3 camera heading in to conjoin our star. We do have some small filaments getting active on the disk, but their destabilization events are not appearing to pose any threat for space weather. However, as we're going to see, it's the coronal holes doing that. We've got a storm this morning and major plasma penetration event. The cyclone overseas isn't exactly being nice to the nation sitting along the northeast Indian Ocean. We'll take a look there, too. Had a very unusual earthquake strike yesterday, and the Weather Channel has the coming summer temperature predictions. However, as always, the first place we start is over at spaceweathernews.com. Checking out the sun in 193 angstroms, we see some surface surges and coronal events, but nothing major. The large, dark coronal hole exiting the frame. The movement on the sun wasn't able to produce any flares. No shocker there, as the lone sunspot on the group has the size, but never made any friends, and now he's lonely. Quiet magnetism and the icing on the cake. High-powered sunspots that cannot flare tend to do this rapid-fire plasma spit move that doesn't end up producing flares or CMEs, just perhaps slightly denser solar wind in a couple days down the line. Looks like he wants to let loose, just can't find the strength to do so. The real space weather story today, however, is another density shockwave already hitting this morning in the solar wind, and a magnetic storm has begun at our planet. Plasma penetration events confirmed as read by two stations in Europe. Our magnetic shield phalanx broke a bit there this morning. Top earthquake of the last day was very rare in Australia. Luckily, it most strongly affected the grains of sand out in the middle of nowhere. Eastern Mediterranean a bit more active than we like to see as well, hopefully not foreshocking. So folks, you may notice that as the big coronal hole departs, the next one, much smaller, is incoming on the south. Now this one cannot come close to the coronal hole score we just saw with that massive northern opening. But remember, the southern fields are much stronger than the north, so let's try to identify the coming peak in score rather than comparing this to the last opening. Another day or two to see it. Back to Earth, could you imagine something like this happening in London, New York, Miami, Sydney? two million people evacuated in a few days is not only a mind screw of an operation logistically but the resource issue comes into play those people were struggling to eat before they got yanked out of their homes cyclone has amazingly intensified again and the disaster is unfolding pray for them lastly folks the Weather Channel here with your June and whole summer temperature forecasts much of the same really colder in the south warmer in the north real story though is the major storms coming this week to the United States. More on that tomorrow, but for now it is Saturday, so our weekly podcast is set to come in a few hours. Got some brain benders in the list today. Four dollars is all it takes to become a member at suspiciousobservers.org. You support these news, our free resource sites, and the mobile observatory, and we greatly appreciate it. We've got pressure and radar forecasts for our top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. I would, however, invite wind map veterans Check out the Earth spot approaching Chile and try to diagnose its strength changes during this morning's geomagnetic storm. The sun is coming up in the United States this May 21st, 2016. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.